Hey, morning, folks. Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's doing all right. Um, uh, a bit of a. I'll try and make this really short, sharp, and sweet because you know, to be honest, there's not a lot in terms of updates rather than like sort of like the everyday uh, price action. Uh, the macro backdrop. I'll touch a bit on that. So in terms of data, we only have the ZEW economic sentiment coming out of Germany at around, if I'm not mistaken, that's about 10 a.m. later. No, it is 10 a.m. So, uh, and, you know, Westpac consumer confidence change uh, overnight during APAC trade that came out at negative 3% from a consensus of negative 1.6, which is actually better than the prior negative 4.5%. So, uh, you know, kind of in a way we are seeing this happen right now. So we made a new low on the Aussie here yesterday and we are still trading around that area there. So before going for a test of potentially the 67,000 handle. Um, but all of this really largely is attributed to this bad boy here. So we notched another new high of year, another handle. Look at that. That is just a massive, massive bid into. And one of the reasons is Bostich, Fats Bostich overnight said that they are, he's very comfortable with a 75 basis point hike. He, he still thinks that the current monetary policy is highly accommodative. You know, so it, to be honest with you, with the uh, basically the FOMC rate announcement coming in at the end of the month here, I do think, you know, this is the Fed kind of just dropping hints now that we might we potentially will be seeing 75 basis point at the next meeting. Really, uh, I have a feeling that, you know, as usual, Bullard will go, you know, a bit further about saying, yeah, 100 basis point is definitely on the table. Or he just says, you know, uh, 75 basis point, you know, we might even continue to next year. I mean, all these things can happen as a lot of different views and basically uh, theories out there, you know, but I'm not going to touch it here. If you want to talk about that, like head on to the Discord room where we're doing a free one month trial. So might as well make use of that. And because of this Dixie going absolutely just epic, epic bid, uh, we are seeing, you know, equities taking a bit of a tumble. So, you know, try to go for that second, um, this was, you know, we've been talking about this gap for a while now. So went over once, couldn't stay above, went back down to test the 3750s, run there and thereabouts, and then tried again here, failed. And potentially, I would think we might be seeing this level here before we get to the, to be honest with you, before the end of the week. And before we get to the FOMC, if the, the Dixie continues on its rampant, uh, basically it just bids on steroids here, then we might continue seeing that because, but at the same time, there is something to be mindful of, you know, God knows when, but we are approaching parity here on the year of futures. So parity, I mean, you guys know, you can Google that. I mean, I didn't explain something like that. Um, so that, uh, let me just swap this out. So, there's this thing here, so on crude, so it's still to be announced. They haven't said when, but the US is going to be setting uh, a meeting over once they head to the Middle East to basically uh, have a chat with OPEC leaders on energy security because and a senior US official said that a failure to sort of go through and carry out um, the plan, the proposed plan to cap prices on Russian oil could potentially see this market trade above 104, there and thereabouts. And I would think that is quite, how do you say, um, reserved. It's a reserved estimate i feel because we're not too f i mean okay we're trading one on ones right now but these these ranges have been huge so one of fours is actually just there we traded there two days ago right so um we could potentially see higher prices on oil but there is 
the discussion of demand destruction that is being going on. I'm not going to get too much into that for now. Um, any questions at all, hit me in the comments. Uh, have a good session ahead. I hope this was useful. Remember to hit subscribe, bell icon to get notified for the next, uh, for any upcoming videos. This is Reed bringing you today's daily briefing. Cheers.